Hello, my friends, and welcome to Let's Get Cereal, where I, your host, Alyssa Marino, eat cereal, talk about stuff. Let's get cereal. We're gonna get a little musical, a little magical, a little Scandinavian, I think. Tricks meets Trolls World Tour with marshmallows. There are so many colors, and there's such an awesome contrast of colors that's making my eyeballs very happy. Look at these color combinations. Like, I'm so into this. Very curious. I don't know if it's gonna really taste like Tricks. I'm not sure if the consistency of the marshmallows is going to take away. We just recently tried Fruity Lucky Charms, so I'm wondering if it'll be close to that, but the only way to find out is to open this up and, and find out. So let's go. The aroma is disappointingly mild, but the color combinations are really pretty. That's a lot. Look how pretty these colors are. Actually, the blue and purple swirl Remind me of the packaging that they used to have on Trix yogurt. I don't know if anyone remembers when Trix was a yogurt. Those are better days, man. Those are easier days. Actually, I don't know. They might still have Trix yogurt. Whatever. Of course, I had to opt for the iridescent, holographic, cool bowl and spoon combination. What's this, amateur hour? Come on. Please forgive my hair. I haven't had my bangs cut in three months, so I just did my best. I know they don't smell super powerful, but just kind of like seeing these in the bowl and, and gathering up this spoonful, I'm actually really excited and looking forward to these. Tricks, Trolls World Tour, Tricks with Marshmallows. I don't know how you're supposed to read this. Tricks, Marshmallows, Trolls World Tour, Tricks with Marshmallows. Let's get cereal. It's, it's okay, it's fine. I think I like the texture of the actual Trix pieces. When I was growing up, Trix were shaped like fruit. Then we went with these little pebbly pieces and then they went back. But now these, I guess, to stick with the, the swirly, colorful theme of Trolls World Tour, we're back to little, little spheres, but that's okay. The marshmallows actually aren't too shabby. They're not quite as chalky as usual Lucky Charms marshmallows are. So full disclosure, I did not see this movie, but I did a little bit of research on it. From the sound of it, the trolls are very musically inspired. You have different tribes of music. You have your pop and your country and techno. I don't know if they're all fighting or they're on bad terms or whatever the case may be. Differences are cool. Differences are awesome. And you liking another type of music just gives us more to share. I love that about music is that there's truly something for anyone that wants to listen. I don't know if anybody watching remembers when trolls were just little dolls. Maybe I'll find a picture and I'll insert one right over here so you can see what trolls looked like when I was a kid. I remember having a troll doll, big green hair, it had like a little satchel, a pair of green shorts, and it had a green gem in its belly button. Some trolls had them, some trolls didn't. Have to more thoroughly research that. But I did learn that troll dolls started from a Danish man he, he wanted to get a gift for his daughter, so he made her these troll dolls. She showed it off. It got super popular. Everybody wanted one. And now we have troll dolls. And now we have Trolls World Tour. So, a beautiful little mythical creature from Scandinavian culture. But some trolls that are not cool are internet trolls. Screw internet trolls. But another thing that I learned about the word troll is trolling is a verb, fishing by like dragging bait off a boat or something like that. So literally, internet trolls are just trying to bait people. They're throwing out terrible things, trying to get people to interact. They're fishing for you. They're trolling for you. Don't let them win. Just screw that energy, man. Mm -mm. I know it is so, so hard. We gotta, gotta try and swim against the current and not let the trolls bait us into bringing down our energy. Cause ugh. who has time for that? 
You don't. You're better than that. Mm -mm. In times of trouble, sometimes it's helpful to remember some of the really pretty, beautiful, wonderful things that are out there, like music and, and pretty colors. Look at these pretty colors. Sometimes it's important to take a break and remember the things that, that make us happy and that give us energy so that we can keep fighting and keep going. Whatever it is, I challenge you today to try and take a second to find that and to think of that and to live in that moment, even just for, just for a second, just to, just to give your brain, your body, your heart and your soul a little bit of a moment and then continue to fight on. Bottoms up. Totally yummy. Didn't knock my socks off, but it was all right. What is fun, as I said, we're gonna get musical. On the back of the box, you can cut this out and make your own ukulele. Let's see if I can do one better. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is out of tune. All right, all right, my friends. This has been brief, but it's been fun. I love spending time eating some cereal, talking about stuff with whoever feels like dropping in to listen. Times are tough, but so are we. Tune in here every Saturday for new episodes of Let's Get Cereal. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, remember to do your best to be your best. And I will see you later. <laughs>